Hey everybody, <clears throat> Gary and Katie, back with another 100, 100 blends in 100 days. This is day 96, believe it or not. We're um, doing it! This is another absolutely first uh, first reaction, first take on it. <clears throat> Today we are doing John Cotton's Double Press Latakia, popped fresh about five minutes ago. <clears throat> um... It's a, it's a crumble cake, but it, when you break it apart, it, um, it's very clearly, it really is double pressed. Like there's, there's a form to what breaks apart in the crumble cake, similar to that of something like, like what, what breaks apart looks like a broken flake, but slightly different. It's, it's very visible. It, it is double pressed. It's not a marketing ploy. <laughs> Um, when I was looking it up online, the only negative review, or the only review of it on tobacco pipes, not tobacco reviews, was that somebody thought that they didn't get enough. Um, guys, these are done by weight. This is a double pressed cake of, lettuce, of, of tobacco, so it's, it's going to be compressed. It is not going to fill the whole container. Um, they, they yeah, have, it's a little cute. they buy a, they buy these one size of containers that everybody uses and then they just put their product in that container. They don't size the container for the product. You're not getting gypped. Sorry, that, that just, that needed to be said because that's absurd. Um, I have the tobacco reviews up here. They gave it 3.5 stars and the description, because there isn't much of one on the tin, it just says Latakia. Turns out there's more to it than just Latakia, but it is a very Latakia forward blend. <clears throat> Many people who enjoy English and Balkan blends will buy them and age them for months or even years to take the edge off the Latakia flavor and also let the Virginias become a bit sweeter. <clears throat> With John Cotton's Double Press Latakia, a lot of that effort has already been done for you. It starts off at a flake, as a flake, that consists of smoky Cyprian Latakia, ripe Virginias, fragrant Orientals, and a bit of Burley to add even more body. Then the aged flakes are fully rubbed out and allowed to breathe for weeks. Then the tobacco is put back into the press and formed into a crumble cake. The second pressing helps to mellow the Latakia and deepen the other flavors for a truly harmonious result. This isn't a lap bomb by any means. The balance of John Cotton's double press Latakia is just about perfect if you don't like getting bowled over with smokiness. Now Katie really likes Latakia, it turns out. <clears throat> but she doesn't she doesn't feel like the more mellow Latakia in this versus some of the other Latakia blends she's tried. I mean, you can you speak for yourself. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, sorry. You consolidate it so well. I, that's what I do. There was a little bit of chatter going on about this one before we hit record. Yeah. It's fantastic. I like it a lot. I put it right up there, like a 9 or a 10. The cost, I think, is the only thing that keeps me from putting it at a 10. Yeah. Because that, that one is... Uh, it's like $18 a tip. Yeah, that's a bit... It's worth it, though. My goodness. It is delicious. Right from the get-go. Maybe when it's time for a treat. Or if I can't find Maltese Falcon for you. Well, it burns really well. This was blend blended by Russ, Russ Roulette. Um, famously from uh, the Seattle Pipe Club blends. So that that is something to keep in mind as far as the quality of the blend. And it being in a crumble cake, because Russ, Russ is famous for that. You said there was a burly in it too, huh? Yep. Apparently some kinds of burly are all right. For the continued point of reference, Jim Inks gave it three stars. He spends most of the paragraph and a half describing the ingredients. Um, but basically, he says that, you know it's, it's not going to bite. And due to the double pressing has a lightly fermented sugar rather than a mature quality to that mod 
chew it that moderately mellows out the experience. This blend barely has any rough edges due to that. I, I concur. It's exceptionally smooth. Um, I don't know if you... Can you call it an English when it has burly in it? I don't know if that's... I'm not I don't entirely know. sure. I don't think it's in English. I'm really surprised for how sweet and, and mellow all the flavors are together for how vinegary and sour it smells. Does it taste like an English to you? Yeah. Or is it just mostly Latakia? It's, it's got a little bit of that... Uh, I don't quite know what to call it like that. Not the peppery, but a lot of the Englishes have that just kind of... Jim Inks has <laughs> in one of his descriptions. I'm um, not, I'm not uh, reading that whole thing on this video. It doesn't need to be 20 minutes. I know. Kinda. Reminiscent of some of those. But I also don't like all of the Englishes either. Yeah, no. I like the more mellow Englishes, so possibly. But you also like the really intense Latakias, so that's, that's weird. It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious and fantastic and I'm definitely bringing it camping well um I'd give it a I'd give it an 8 for sure this is one that um like I if if it's on sale or whatever like I'll, I'll grab a tin or two just to have stocked away because this is something that like it's different enough from some of the other blends that we've tried that this is something I'd be like, you know what? I don't want that, but I do want, I want that flavor. I want that. It's, it's that different where you, you could definitely know that, that this is exactly what you wanted. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Well, you guys have a great, great day. This is day 96. Come back for tomorrow for day 97. And uh, we hope you have a great day. Thanks for coming around for another uh, smoke snack. Talk to you later. Or snack attack. That's right. I said it wrong. How dare you. This far into it, too. <laughs> Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.